Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Nathan and in this video, I want to show you how to use a powerful coding agent from Google for free. Allow me to introduce you to Gemini Code Assist. So Gemini Code Assist is an official AI coding agent extension developed by Google that you can use for free in VS Code and JetBrains based editor. Overall, it offers real-time code suggestions, automatic completions, multi-file editing, and generation and transformation of full functions or files using natural language. It supports up to 6,000 code-related requests and 240 chat requests per day with a 1 million token context window for highly relevant responses. This extension was released back in 2024, but it doesn't really get much attention because it's falling behind in features when compared to other more advanced AI coding agents like GitHub Copilot, Klein, Roo, or KiloCode. However, with the release of the Gemini CLI a few days ago, Google finally put some love into this extension by adding an agent mode to it. Basically, agent mode transforms Gemini Code Assist into a collaborative pair programmer, similar to how Klein or KiloCode works. The idea is that you can give it a complex, multi-step tasks and it will write the code for you. You can edit, ask for changes, approve or deny any suggested changes. Nothing gets changed until you approve it, so you're in control of what happens to your code base. There is also support for multi-file editing now in agent mode, which is something that was missing in this extension. Instead of just working on a single file, the agent can now make changes across your entire code base at once, based on your prompt. This is useful when you need to refactor a huge code base or adding a feature that involves multiple files. If you want to undo the changes, there's also an option to revert local files back to an earlier state, which again is very similar to how Klein or KiloCode works. Another thing they've added is full project contacts in agent mode. This means the agent can analyze your whole code base and pull in files and folders as needed. So the code suggestions and refactorings it provides are more accurate and context aware. It should have a better understanding of your project structure, dependencies, and coding patterns, which should make its suggestions more relevant. One more important thing is that Gemini Code Assist and Gemini CLI is actually integrated, so you can think of them as different interfaces to the same coding agent. This means that Gemini CLI customization, such as using MCP servers and custom rules, will also affect Gemini Code Assist. Now all of this sounds great, so next, I will show you how to get started with Gemini Code Assist for free. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Alright, to start using Gemini Code Assist, you simply need to install the extension on your IDE. In the extensions website here, you can see all plugins available, but for this video, we will use Gemini Code Assist and VS Code. So here, I already have VS Code open, and the first thing we will do is to open the extensions tab on the side, and then search for Gemini Code Assist in the search bar. Now we can see the extension here, so just install it, and once installed, we will see this Gemini icon on the sidebar. Click the icon, and you will see the welcome screen of Gemini Code Assist as shown here. Now, to use the extension, you need to sign in using your Google account, so just click sign in here, and then just click open. Now select the Google account you want to use, and you will see this page when you are authenticated, which is very similar to Gemini CLI. Now go back to VS Code, and you will see the main chat window of Gemini Code Assist. Now one thing to note here is that you can change the privacy settings of Gemini Code Assist. By default, it will collect your prompt, code base, and responses to improve the extension. If you don't want this, you can uncheck the setting here, and it will take up to 1 minute to activate. Okay, now back to the main interface, you can see the chat box here, but the agent mode isn't visible anywhere yet. To enable an agent mode option, you need to add this configuration to your VS Code. I will leave the link in the description, so just copy this config. And then back in VS Code, press Command Shift P or Control Shift P for Windows to open the command palette. Now type Open User Settings JSON, and you will see this option. So click on it, and in this file, you can pass the config copied from Gemini Code Assist previously. And that's it. Now save these changes, and you will get this updating message as shown here. Once the upgrade is finished, click Reload here. 
and Gemini codices will be upgraded to the Insider version where you have access to experimental features. Here in the chat box, we can already see the agent mode option down here. There is also quick start tips for using commands, MCP, and custom instructions over here which is very similar to Gemini CLI. Now that the agent mode is enabled in Gemini Code Assist, we can start testing its capabilities. First, let's move the Gemini Code Assist panel to the right side. Right click on the icon here and then select move to and then secondary sidebar. Now, the extension will be open on the right side here so we can see the files on the left side and code in the center. Okay, let's go ahead and test Gemini Code Assist. Here, I will ask it to build a node organizer app where users can create nodes and organize their knowledge. Here, I describe the main function of the app, what data to save, as well as the nodes format, the organization, search and sort capabilities, the UI design, the layout, as well as the initial setup. Now press enter to send this prompt and let Gemini process it for a moment. And here it begins to write a plan on how to tackle this request. If you ever used Firebase Studio before, you will know that Gemini always write a comprehensive plan before actually writing the code. And that same experience is what being provided by Gemini Code Assist right now. And so, after a while, Gemini now wants to create an index.html file and write code in it. You can accept this request or even allow all similar operations for this chat session. So let Gemini complete the generation for now. Alright, so now Gemini has finished the request and we can see the code it wrote in this index.html file. Next, let's open the app in the browser. And here's the app generated by Gemini. It seems unstyled and missing the sort feature, but we can fix that later. For now, let's try to create a new task by clicking this add button down here. Okay, let's add the name, text, and then note content. Save this note. Okay, the note can be saved. And now let's edit the note. Change the content and title a bit. Now save this change. And yes, the note is updated. So now let's try to filter by text. Alright, it's working. Now let's try search. Alright, so search can work. And uh, now let's delete a note. And yep, the note is deleted, as well as the text that have no notes up here. Okay, I think this app is alright, but some improvements can definitely be made. So back in VS Code, let's ask Gemini to help improve the UI and add that missing sort functionality. Now, this part is important, so I want you to pay attention for a second. Sometimes, the output from AI tools isn't quite right, or it's not what you had in mind. Well, that's totally normal. The key here is to keep iterating and ask AI to fix any mistake being made. Most people send in one prompt, don't get the perfect result, and then give up. But that's not how you work with AI. AI is like a creative partner. The more you collaborate with it, the better it gets. So have a little patience and give it some guidance. Just keep going and try to understand each AI characteristics so you can give it better prompts. Okay, so Gemini is finished with the app here. Let's see the result in the browser. And here we go. Let's refresh this app. And now the app is a lot nicer to look at. The sort functionality is also added over here. So let's test it out. First, uh, add a new node that starts with a Z. Uh, and just add whatever here and then click sort by title. Alright, so we can see the sort functionality is working. So nice job, Gemini. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. And that's how you can use Gemini Code Assist and VS Code. The extension allows you to use Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is a state-of-the-art model that excels at coding to help you plan, develop, and debug your software projects. Overall, Gemini Code Assist is a great extension if you already love to use Gemini models. The newly added agent mode as well as the integration with Gemini CLI makes this tool a great addition in the world of AI. It is now able to make multi-file changes, while previously, it can only make changes in a single file at a time. Aside from agent mode, Gemini Code Assist also offers code completions, so when you type something on the editor, it will try to predict what you want to code, 
and give this kind of suggestion. You can accept the suggestion by pressing the tab button and you can also block a part of your code and then press command plus i or control plus i to access quick comments such as explain this code or generate unit tests. The extension also has access to MCPs and custom instructions which we will explore more in the next video. And now we have come to the end of this video. So, what do you think about Gemini Code Assist? I encourage you to try out its free tier and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.